is when we became depraved morally and God gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, their own secret lust, to dishonor their own bodies. That's referring to all sorts of sexual immorality. Ask anybody, ask any advertising executive. I think I've even preached about it before. On my way to St. Louis, and as you're going downtown St. Louis, uh, I saw a, a billboard like as big as that wall over there, and it had a woman with, you know, uh, uh, less clothes on than what underclothes would be, little old skimpy string bikini. And then I realized something it was an ad for car insurance. The reason is sex sells. It ain't been that way for very many years. Say, well, you're preaching to the choir. We'd all believe this. We all believe that. Let me tell you something. You let your mind begin to start going and rambling on your own agenda and your own ideas and dwelling on your own likes and your own dislikes, you will wake up dead on your ivory bed if you'll allow me to steal a message from my father who preached it many years ago. And I'm preaching a message to you and saying, wake up where you are. Don't wait till you get to the hog pen to start trying crying out for help. Uh, realize that right now, I've got to get control of this mind. I've got to get it on the right track. I've got to get it holy. I've got to make sure I put holy and godly things in it because this is where you end. This is where you end up at when you tell God I don't need you. Oh, you, let me tell you something. I have agonized. I have prayed. I have questioned God over the fact that we don't worship the Lord like we used to. That is a that is a sign of what happens here. They begin, they stop glorifying God and they started glorifying particular singers and songs that they like and their own little special thing, their own little special idea. And when they don't have my person sing, I'm just going to get mad and not say nothing. And you're on your way to a perverted place if you do not keep control of your mind. Here's the, here's the crazy thing it's the things that the Bible's talking about in Romans chapter 1 come on now ESPN a sports channel all sports channel made a woman that used to be a man, their person of the year. A gold medal Olympic decathlon who decided God made a mistake and I should have been a six foot three inch woman with a goozle. And for their courage, they became the woman of the year. Brother David, it's normal because of their courage. That's not courage. That's the Bible coming to pass in our world today. Watchmen, what of the night? It's considered normal. The things that the Bible says are depraved. The things that the Bible says are evidence of a people that God throws His hands up to. Oh God have mercy, saints of God. Do not become so sensitized to the things of the world. So desensitized to the things of the world. It's not a choice. It's a spirit. It is an abomination unto God. It's according to the Word of God. You cannot fall prey to feeling sorry for people. We're going to love people. I don't care if they fall in love with a billy goat. We're going to still love them. But they're wrong while I'm loving them. You can apply for a marriage license to marry that flower right there if you want to, and I'll still love you, but you're crazy. <laughs> I've loved crazy people before. I'll keep on loving them again. It's normal. Oh, Lord.
Lord Jesus, have mercy. There was legislation brought. And if, I, if, I, if I'm wrong, I apologize. I don't believe I am the name of the country. It was either Austria or Sweden. But there was legislation brought uh, in one of those European countries, Brother David, that would make pedophilia an alternative lifestyle. Can you see? You say, well, I don't think that it matters what you wear. And I don't think it matters what you put on your body. And the Bible is telling us uh, when you start going that way, there ain't no stopping. So I, I know, yes, I do. I know good people that don't live for God and they don't believe in that stuff either. I know it. But where are we going as a group? Where are we going as a whole? And most importantly, why are we sitting by idly and letting the devil have it? Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Lord Jesus. I really meant to go through this quickly and I apologize for not. Maybe that's what the Lord intended. But they worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. Boy, I, I'm going to be getting in a lot of trouble right now. I really am, and I'm going to shut my eyeballs so I don't look at nobody. But there don't nobody, nobody. Oh, Lord. Think about, think about this. Think about this. Let's go 20 years ago. Okay? I got my first cell phone in 1990. No. 2000 or 2001, something like that. And it was a, a blue Nokia about that big right there. And it had a game on it called the worm. The snake, that was it. That was it. It was green and black. That was the screen. Do you know that, that we now have a disease that is called, you like to take selfies too much? <laughs> Uh, or do you know that there is a disorder? There is a disorder. There is been tied. Y'all think I'm making this stuff up? Somebody decided that it is super cool to make a, a kissy face, fish face, puffed up lip face, and take 943 pictures of yourself. And now, Brother Larry, it has become a disease and there are psychological issues with people constantly holding a camera up and taking a picture of their old cock big and face. <laughs> It's the Bible. Now, I, I, I understand, man. I'm, 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 I'm probably pushing the envelope just a little bit. But look, they worship and serve the creature. More. What do you think that is? It means I love some me. I think I'm pretty. I think I'm cute. I think I'm sexy. And I'm going to put it out there for all the world to see as much of me as they can. Come on now. Did I say did I say something stupid? No. Say, well, now he's preaching against selfies. I, I didn't say that. But I still don't know why you do it. You know, they made fun of me in Israel, Brother David, because I didn't know how. God is my witness. I did not know how to do it. I was holding it up and taking a picture of that out yonder. I didn't know what I was doing. And you know what? I told somebody. I said, that makes me feel so good. I feel so happy because I didn't know how to take a selfie. Let me stop right here. Maybe I don't even need to go any further. Can you see that the Bible is coming to pass in our world every day? 
every day. People are so in love with themselves. I get, you know, on Facebook it says, people you might know. And I get all of these ones. I show them to my wife if it's where I can. I get all of these people you might know that I share one friend with. Of all these gals that don't nobody around here know. They don't hardly have no clothes on, but they're all spread out taking a picture of themselves and they want to be my friend. <laughs> and I know somebody who made friends with them. <laughs> you think about it just for a minute. There are people in America... Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this is Sister Leanne, this is just something that I, that I see when I read this, Brother Billy, I see our world, and the church can't be like that. There are people, there are people in our world, in our society, that make millions and billions of dollars, and don't nobody know why. They ain't never done nothing, Justin. They ain't never done nothing for nobody. They ain't never strapped on a combat hat and went over. We got teachers uh, that cannot even survive on the salary they make. Uh, and, and somebody's keeping up with whoever that makes billions of dollars and ain't never done nothing for nobody. They make millions of dollars for being famous, Brother David. It's where our world has gone. That's why the church has got to realize we have an anchor and it's not the world, but it is the Lord. And they've turned the truth of God into a lie. Worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. This is the Bible, what I'm reading to you right now. This is not GL. This ain't Louis Lamar. This ain't Sigmund Freud. This ain't Gloria Steinem. This ain't Rosie. Posey. It's the Bible. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. What does that mean? It's obviously referring to homosexuality. Both men and women. It ain't near one of them right. It ain't near one of them natural. You was not built that way. But it is evidence of where you end up at on the journey when you tell God, I don't need you. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Clearly the Bible says they will receive a just compensation for their error, for their wrong. When mankind is left to themselves, when God says, I'll back away, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, where did it, where did it start at? Oh, no. 
Jesus. Yeah. 